Pilots might be hesitant to give pilot reports because they don't know the exact order or they don't have all the information. I'll take whatever you've got. You can give it directly to me. It's not necessary to go to flight service. If you just be short and concise, I'll take that information so it can help all the pilots operating in the area. Don't feel as a pilot that you have to format it exactly in the perfect order that it's shown on a PIREP form. If you're flying at 5,000 feet and you're getting moderate turbulence, just say, hey, November 1, 2, 3, I'm level here at 5,000, moderate turbulence. I can write that information all down on the PIREP form. Don't feel like you need to give me the time or your aircraft type or anything like that. Just tell me the conditions you encounter and I can pass it along the way it needs to be. You can follow it if you want, but it's what you feel is pertinent information. When I'm flying, for example, um, I will always give the sky conditions um, and any other information. So uh, if there's icing, I will say, you know, sky conditions, the bases are at uh, 5,000 feet and I'm getting some light rime icing. Now the next thing you're going to hear from a controller is, is they want to hear the outside air temperature. Reason being is we have twofold, we give that to our meteorologists so they can start changing their icing models for forecasting and also gives us an idea of what the temperature is. So if it's near that, you know, negative one, that kind of zero, we know we're close to that where we can start descending people and get them into warmer air. Now if it's negative five, negative six, that means we have, we have lower to go to get you out of those icing conditions as far as to uh, burn the ice off the wings. Um, even telling us that uh, sky condition is clear and smooth is a good thing for us to know because I want to know where the, the, the closest area of clear um, VFR conditions are to help that pilot get to VFR conditions. And that's happened to me multiple times where I've had pilots just give a you know, smooth and clear VR, uh, PIREP and it helped actually save pilots' lives by being able to vector that aircraft, the one in distress, um, over to the VFR conditions. When it comes to pyrops, it's not necessarily how you say it, it's the information you're giving us. I mean, icing and turbulence, those are really important weather situations that you're encountering that other aircraft want to know. Planes want to know when they go through turbulence. They want to know when they experience icing. And if you're not going to give it because of a format, I, I can't give their information to them. So it's not about the format, it's about the information.